I have a feeling Thursday night football finally gets better this week. The New Orleans Saints and the Arizona Cardinals kick off week seven. The good news is DeAndre Hopkins will be making his season debut this week. The bad news is that it comes at a price, with Marquise Brown expected to miss some time. The Saints have been dealing with many injuries, but will have Jameis Winston and Chris Olave returning this week. Which 2 and 4 team turns their season around here? We've got the Cardinals by 6. This is the week that Arizona finally has a lead going into halftime. The spread to take here is Cardinals minus 1.5. Sunday's early afternoon games began with the Cleveland Browns and the Baltimore Ravens. Cleveland lost his first game by more than one possession last week, while the Ravens were stunned by the Giants. Which team can rebound from their loss? We're saying the Ravens will, win by seven. The run defense of the Browns is among the worst in the league, which is bad news when going against one of the better run-first teams in the league. Our suggestion on the spread is Ravens minus six and a half. NFC South matchup between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Carolina Panthers. It's been a rough stretch for the Bucs as of late, with them recently falling to the Pittsburgh Steelers. For the Panthers, P.J. Walker got the clearance and will start this week. A bounce back is in full effect as we're taking the Buccaneers by 14. At this point, Carolina would take Sam Donald at quarterback. The spread to take here is Buccaneers minus 10.5. The Atlanta Falcons versus the Cincinnati Bengals. Both are 3-3, three and three, but both had different expectations this season. The Bengals don't seem to look like their old selves from last year, while the Falcons are looking impressive and have a very favorable schedule moving forward. Hold that thought on the favorable schedule until next week, as this week, we're taking the Bengals by 5. The Falcons' defense will make it close, but in the end, we're going with the more talented team. Since we think it'll be close, our suggestion on the spread is Falcons plus 6. Many players returning in this game as the Detroit Lions face the Dallas Cowboys. The biggest return is Dak Prescott as he was medically cleared this week. For the Lions, they're hoping to get Amon Ross St. Brown and DeAndre Swift back as well. We're taking the Cowboys to win by four. Prescott may start off slow, but it's tough to envision Detroit's defense not slipping up. The spread to take here is Lions plus seven. The New York Giants versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. At 5-1, the Giants are led by great coaching, a solid defense, and Saquon Barkley. The Jaguars started off hot and led the AFC South, but since then, have lost three straight games. It's going to be another tough one for the Jags, as we're picking the Giants by 8. Expect Jacksonville's offense to struggle in this game. Not sure why the Jags were the favorites, but the spread to take here is Giants plus 3. AFC South battle between the Indianapolis Colts and the Tennessee Titans. After a rough start to the season, Indy finds themselves competing with the Titans for the division lead. Tennessee won the last matchup between the two back in Week 4. Week 4 was close and we expect it to be close yet again. Titans by 3. The early bye week we believe will pay off for the Titans this week. Our suggestion on the spread is Titans minus 3. Two starting quarterbacks dealing with finger injuries. The Green Bay Packers versus the Washington Commanders. It was this exact weekend, Week 7 in 2021, where the Packers beat Washington 24-10. Taylor Heineke started in that game, and he'll start again this weekend in place of Carson Wentz. We're picking the Packers to win by 7. Washington's offense is clearly not the best, and we expect them to struggle. The spread to take here is Packers minus 5. It's looking ugly for the Denver Broncos, who now host the up-and-coming New York Jets. Denver had the longest possible week to prepare for the Chargers, but their offense is still not great. That's bad news against the Jets' defense, who have looked great the last three weeks. In an upset, we're picking the Jets by two. It all goes back to the Jets' defense versus the Broncos' offense. Our suggestion on the spread would be the Jets plus three. The only one-win teams go head-to-head, -head, the Houston Texans versus the Las Vegas Raiders. A must-win for both teams, but the pressure is really on the Raiders. A potential drop to one and five means you could see some big names like Josh Jacobs be traded. But the good news is we're going with the Raiders to win by four. Both teams are coming off a bye, so expect a pretty competitive game. The spread to take here is Texans plus seven. The Seattle Seahawks versus the Los Angeles Chargers. The Chargers survived the Broncos' defense, and despite the coaching mishaps and poor offense at times, they still sit at four and two. The Seahawks struggled last week, but power through and beat the Cardinals. We're picking the Chargers by 10. The Seahawks' defense is their weakest point, and that's not good going against one of the dangerous offenses in the NFL. Our suggestion on the spread is Chargers minus seven. Rematch of Super Bowl 54. 
the Kansas City Chiefs versus the San Francisco 49ers. Despite the loss last week, Patrick Mahomes showed that he can still move the ball downfield against the best defenses. And though the 49ers defense belongs in that conversation, they're dealing with several injuries to their starters. And because of that, we're taking the Chiefs to win by six. Great coaching by the Niners make this close, but the spread we're taking here is Chiefs minus three. Sunday night football, the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Miami Dolphins. Tua Tukavailoa has been cleared and will play this weekend. Another shoreline to watch is Brian Flores, the former Dolphins head coach, who now coaches linebackers for the Steelers, will be making his return to South Florida. We're picking the Dolphins to win by a field goal. We believe the Dolphins still get the victory, but Tua's first game back won't be a blowout by any means. Our suggestion of the spread is Steelers plus seven. And finally, Monday Night Football, the Chicago Bears versus the New England Patriots. There will be a quarterback controversy in New England as Mac Jones is the confirmed starter as soon as he gets healthy. The Bears continue to boast one of the league's worst passing offenses. We're taking the Patriots to win by eight. It really comes down to the Bears' offense and how unlikely they are to move downfield against the Patriots. The spread to take here is Patriots minus four and a half. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and give me a follow on Twitter as well at It's Hassan Khan. We'll love to chat with everyone during the games. Thank you guys so much for watching this video.